Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be furnishing the Apple View Farm in Old Town. Um, I actually really like this house. It's a starter home over two floors with an apple orchard out the front and a garden shed out the back with some vines growing on it and also a little plot for gardening. Um, there's also like a small lake with birch trees which you can't really interact with but it looks nice. Um, I think the fact that it's a small house in the middle of the lot with lots of space around gives kind of the impression of fresh air and outdoorsy lifestyle. So it's perfect really for sims who want to like live off the land and maybe look after animals. Um, so the floor plan is quite straightforward. Downstairs you've got a spacious main living area and a bathroom in one corner and then a kitchen attached on the right side. Upstairs the staircase leads into a dark passageway with a small bedroom on one side and then a larger bedroom at the end. Whenever I have my sims live in this house I usually leave the floor plan as it is because the house costs around 15,000 simoleons and you can only get 20,000 to start with. Um, so making changes can get kind of quickly quite expensive when you don't have the budget in the first instance. Um, but as I'm just decorating the house with no current family moved in, I feel it's fine to just be a bit more free with the floor plan um, and while also keeping the original feel of the house and optimizing the space because it's quite small. So the first thing I did downstairs was move the back door from its original position to the back left because it was kind of in the middle of that back wall and I tucked it behind the staircase. Usually I'll use the whole main living area for a sitting area with a TV and that's it. But I really wanted to divide up that space into two parts because it. I just thought it would make it feel a bit more cosy and moving the door out of the way gives a little bit more space to work with. So instead of having the living area take up all the space, I partitioned part of the room into kind of like a TV nook with a bookcase and a fish tank and a guinea pig picture hanging on the wall. I wanted to put down a kind of fake rug by using a carpet as there aren't that many rugs in the game and I don't have very much custom content. I couldn't decide which colour carpet to use for the fake rug. Um, I started off with the blue and then red and I think I changed it to purple later on. I was going to go for the wicker style sofa that comes with Make and Magic but I thought the light blue sofa with kind of a floral pattern was just a bit comfier looking somehow. Then for the dining area, I had a really hard time deciding what table and chairs to use. I wanted to have the dining table directly under the two windows um, on that side of the front door so Sims can look out the window at the apple trees when they're eating. But in the end, I decided to just have like a single square table with two wicker chairs kind of slightly off center. Um, just because I don't know, I felt like it fitted the space better somehow, having a longer table with three or four chairs was kind of taking up too much space for me, I'm not quite sure. I felt like the longer table was maybe a little bit too big. Then the bathroom I kept quite simple, although I used one of the custom content plants that I have to decorate. It's maybe slightly overbearing <laughs> actually, but it kind of fills the space too. The kitchen I kept quite simple as well, um, although I added more counters than I usually would when playing with a starter family because I didn't have to consider the budget and also I wanted to include a pantry so if the sims living here grow their own vegetables in the garden they have somewhere to store them and eat them as well. The next part of the house I decorated was the section behind the TV nook. I just wanted to have a little piano and little plant that's kind of yeah separated from the TV area so if you're not in the mood for TV you've got kind of another activity in a different part of the space. Um, although looking at it now, I'm not sure if that jade plant would be blocking the door because Sims in The Sims 1 need a lot of space or they get stuck easily so I might have to go back and move that. So then I made a little path out to the garden shed and just decorated with a few tulips and some other plants. I put a nectar making machine in the shed. I'm not quite sure what that's actually called like a nectar press or something, and as well as some nectar bars in there because growing grapes and making nectars, another kind of fun living off the land type activity. 
I also put a pet bath out the back, assuming that the house owners would probably have cats or dogs. And I think I went back and added pet beds and food bowls as well. Then in terms of the upstairs, um, first I corrected the tile of Berber carpet at the top of the stairs and changing it to a wood floor so it matches the rest of the passageway. And I also added a window so it wouldn't be so dark in there. I decided upstairs that I was going to change the floor plan a bit. I made the main bedroom, like the larger bedroom, slightly smaller to allow more space for the smaller bedroom. And then out of the smaller bedroom, I kind of cut out like a section at the other end and turned that into a bathroom. It's maybe not strictly necessary to have a bathroom on both floors. I just think it helps when you're playing. I initially kept the wall coverings for the two bedrooms the same, but I ended up changing the one in the smaller bedroom. I feel like the dark blue one in the larger bedroom is maybe slightly severe or traditional. It almost has a haunted house kind of vibe to me, but I think it was fine just having it in like one room. Um, in the smaller bedroom, I used the bright, colourful, red, yellow, blue furniture. So it's perfect for a child's bedroom. And then I used the up, up, up and away. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Up, up, up and away. Something like that. That wallpaper with the balloons on it. It was between that one and the yellow one with the stars on it, because I like that one too, for children's bedrooms. And then in the main bedroom, I used the Napoleon sleigh bed and the matching furniture that goes with that and just hung a little quilt on the wall. So quite simple and homey. So that is my refresh of the Apple View farm. I hope you enjoyed this speed build video. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will hopefully see you in another video really soon. Bye.